Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Letitia. I am a professional makeup artist of over eight years. And today you clicked on the video to learn how to apply foundation for the first time, or maybe you just want to improve your skills on applying foundation. So I'm going to teach you the three different methods on how to apply foundation. So that is one either with a foundation brush and makeup brushes, or we have beauty sponges. I like these ones from Real Techniques, or the most simple method is with your fingers. So I'm going to break it down, demonstrate each step on how to apply it. So please keep on watching for that. Now, I do wanna mention there is no rules, no hard and fast rules on how to apply your foundation, your base products. You can really do what works for you. It's really um, up to you and it's a personal thing of how you want to do it. Some people might not feel comfortable using their fingers, it feels dirty, obviously do it with clean fingers. Um, but some people love using their fingers like myself because it feels intuitive and you can warm and you can really massage and rub it into the skin. Some people will like to use brushes uh, just because you feel like it's quicker or just you just like it that way. And then there is the people that love sponges. Sponges, I feel like, give a really good application. Um, they give seamless, flawless kind of look, really full coverage, but they can be quite unhygienic if you don't clean them properly um, because, you know, foundation inside your sponges is just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Oil, makeup, um, water, a good combination for bacteria so please make sure you clean them regularly and purchase new ones regularly i really like these ones from real techniques um, i actually ordered them on iherb if anyone knows me you know i'm a huge iherb lover another thing that you want to think about before you apply foundation is your skin prep and what you're going to put underneath your foundation. If you have dry skin, you never wanna put foundation on completely bare skin without any skincare because it's just not going to blend in nicely. It's going to stick. It's gonna be just hard to move around and spread out. So you wanna put a few layers of maybe like a serum and a moisturizer and of course, if it's the daytime, our sunscreen. And if you have oily skin, you probably um, want to just do really light layers or just use your sunscreen. You could even use a primer, especially if you're in a hot, humid environment. It can help control the oils and give your skin a, a bit of like a tack and a stick to help your foundation stay in place and not slide around and dissolve in areas where it's particularly oily, like in the T-zone. That's what primers are really great for. They can also be really good for knocking back um, any redness in your skin so there's like a whole range of primers it's like a whole nother video really um, this one I just want to keep on applying your foundation so let's get into it so the one I'm going to use today is from MAC Cosmetics this is the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation I have used this pretty much throughout my entire career as a makeup artist on my clients it just works it looks good, I can blend it, mix it, I can I can make it thicker, more coverage, I can shear it out, I can do so much with it, I love it. And I actually don't use it that often on myself, but lately I have been because I'm like, if everyone else enjoys using it, why? <laughs> like, what? if all my clients like wearing it, then why can't I have a go and wear it? So I'm gonna do, the first one is we're going to use a brush. Now, with brushes, there is different types of brushes. You can see here, I do have a, this is, the foundation brushes that I generally use for my makeup kit at work and you can see here I have a I'm a bit partial to a duo fiber brush okay there's a bit more traditional this is somewhat like a traditional one where it's a bit more of a flat brush and you kind of paint it on like this motion if you do use one like this it still is good to go in with a buffing one and buff buff around but I prefer just to go straight in with the duo fiber ones. As you can see, these ones are a little bit more fluffy and these ones are a little bit more dense. So with the dense ones, you're going to get more uh, coverage because it's more dense, it controls the foundation, keeps it layered in, in one area. Whereas the more airy, fluffy type ones, it blends it out and it disperses it more in a more sheer manner. So for me, I'm gonna use this one. I really love this brush. This brush is a Clinique brush. 
I don't know the name, I'm sure I will find it and maybe leave it on the screen below, but um, I've had it for ages. Looking at it now, it does look a little bit battered, but I clean them all the time and they, they last. So foundation, you can pump it on the back of your hand and I will just dot it around my face. Now, when you're applying your foundation, this is with any method, you want to keep things in the center of the face with more coverage and shear things out when you get to the outer corners. When you look at somebody, you look at the center of their face and that's where you will see whether their face has makeup on or if it's perfected. At the edges of the face, you you don't focus on quite as much. Unless you have an acne area, it's more about perfecting the center of the face. So I'm just going to blend that in. So keep buffing it in so it becomes one with the skin. Just have a look in your mirror, check any streak marks from the brushes. That is one thing that you do that is a bit of a downfall when you're using brushes is that you can see streak lines sometimes where you don't get that with your fingers or much less with um, a foundation brush, a sponge. For me, that is a nice um, even but sheer layer and because it matches my skin tone pretty well I don't really feel the need to bring too much down onto the neck but you can just kind of make sure you buff out all the edges with pretty much nothing left on the brush anymore and you just want to make sure it's all buffed into the hairline so there's no no areas where foundation stops here and then there's none here like I said, you do want it to be less when you come to here, but it's a, it's a gradation, it's a fade into nothing. It's no, no sharp line into nothing. Now, foundation, remember, you can go in with another layer. It's always better to do light layers and build up like that. That's when foundation, I find it, um, it lasts better if you do it in light layers rather than one full thick layer. So start with one pump or even half a pump and build it up gradually. Now, for me, that is enough. Um, you may wanna use more, or remember that we still have concealer. So within your makeup routine, you could still use concealer. So I would definitely use concealer under my eyes, around my nose and my chin. And I would like kind of put eyeshadow on the, <laughs> eyeshadow on my lids to um, even out any discoloration there. So that is applying foundation with a makeup brush. Now I am going to wipe this off and next we will do the sponge. Okay, so we are back with clean face and a damp beauty blender. This is probably the number one thing that people get wrong when they're using a sponge like this for applying their makeup is they don't wet it, okay? It's going to make a huge difference with the speed of application, how it applies, and not wasting all of your makeup. So you need to wet them. Go to the sink, run it underwater, completely underwater, wet it, squeeze it. You need to get the water all in it and it just changes texture completely. It's now softer, bouncy, and it would just work better. Now, if we were just to go in like this and then like this, you can do it that way, but I do feel like this eats up a lot more of your um, makeup. That is the biggest downside to using sponges for applying your foundation and uh, base products is it eats up and soaks up a lot of your foundation. So you find yourself using more of the product um, to get the coverage that you want. So the way I do it to try to counteract that and reduce the amount that this eats up is like I did with the makeup brush application. I like to blend it out on my face first, almost half blend it and smooth it out with my finger so that way it's kind of spread out on my face and then I'll do the blending with this and that way hopefully more of the makeup stays on my face and not in the sponge. Again, focusing on the center of the face first getting our coverage on the center. Now 
So once you've done the bouncing in the center of the face and we want to shear out the edges, that is when you can do a little bit more of a sweeping motion. Bouncing creates coverage and gives coverage. So blending in where you've put the foundation in the same area and then sliding and sweeping shears out your coverage. So if you feel like in one area you're like, ooh, it's a bit much there, just sweep it out like that. Or if you feel like some areas where you need a little bit more coverage, go in with another little pump and then have a look on areas where you want to increase the coverage. Okay. And then you can bounce on top of it again and it will really easily blend it in for you. And that's basically it on how to apply uh, your foundation with a sponge. Now sponges can be shaped all different shapes and colors. The colors really don't mean much, but the shapes um, can be used for different areas. So this pointed tip is really good for more getting into smaller areas of the face. You could use the side for bigger areas. Um, these ones, sometimes people use these for like contouring or applying um, pressed powder when they're kind of trying to cut the, the cheek areas. My tip for getting the makeup out of these, the best, because it, it is, it's a challenging one, is to use oil, okay? So oil I find really draws the makeup out of these. So I make a little concoction in my kitchen. I actually get a cup, I get some um, oil, like olive oil, coconut oil, whatever you have in your kitchen, pour it in the cup just a little bit, and dish soap, washing up soap, and then um, a little bit of water. Mix it all together, pop your blue bender in there, squeeze it in there, massage it while it's in there, and it really, the oil really just does help draw out the foundation. Just leave it in there for a few minutes, let it soak and marinate, and then you need to wash it separately again to get the oil off the, the sponge, but that really helps. I do that trick too with my makeup brushes if I can't get the product out as well. A bit of oil kind of just pulls out the makeup. Um, okay. Okay, so now we are on to the last one is hands, which is probably the most self-explanatory, but I will just show you anyway. So instead of pumping it here, I pump it here because I use my fingers, I warm it up in the warmth of my fingers, and again, always starting in the center of the face, I pop it in the center and basically apply it like moisturizer or sunscreen, uh, focusing again on the center of the face, massage it in. And then when I get to the edges, just really blend it out. If you do want more coverage in areas, you can pat, swipe with your hands like this to have it sheared out. And I use my fingers every day. That's how I apply my base. Normally I use a BB cream, um, the one that I love for years is the Misha BB cream that I also buy on iHerb. It just looks like skin. Just give it a little pat over at the end, make sure there's no lines or anything. But that is probably the quickest way, I think, to apply foundation. You're just getting it on, it blends in with the warmth of your hands and your skin and melts into your skin, I think a lot more efficiently. And that was it. That was how to apply with your fingers. Okay, I just popped on a little bit of makeup to finish the video so you can see how it's looking with everything. Now, I wanna just share a few other tips with foundation. Now, number one is don't try to change the color of your skin with your foundation. Unless you're going to commit to doing the makeup completely everywhere where skin is exposed, it's going to look unnatural. Stick to just your foundation color of your skin. It, it will change slightly between the summer and the winter. That's why it's good to have a couple of different shades with you. You can warm up your complexion like I have done here with bronzer, giving a more sun-kissed look. You can give a more brighter complexion, a lighter complexion by putting some highlight areas down the center of the face with lighter concealer. But Overall, you still want it to be the same color as your, 
as your beautiful self. Now, when you are buying foundations in the store, the biggest tip that I can tell you is to go have a look at it in daylight. The shop lighting is completely different to lighting in daylight and our normal circumstances and situations. Ask the counters if they can give you a sample. So pick what shade you think is gonna work for you and often they can dispense a little bit of it in a sample pot for you. They'll write down the shade name. If they can't do that, if, they, if that's not part of their policy, then generally they will let you apply the foundation. So apply the foundation along your cheek here and um, apply like a good amount of it so you can see maybe try two different shades and then go out of the store, walk out into daylight, have a look at it with uh, a mirror or take some, have someone take some photos of you of it and then have a look at the photos and see which one just disappears and blends into your skin and doesn't look like it's there, that's your shade. So always have a look at it out in daylight if possible. And then my third tip that I wanna share with you, pick foundations that suit your skin type, meaning whether you uh, sit on the spectrum of a little bit more oily skin, then you wanna kind of work with foundations that are a bit more long lasting foundations, long wear foundations. Um, and then if you are on the drier side of the spectrum, then you want really hydrating foundations, glowy foundations, luminous foundations, like words like this. So that was it. That was my explanation and demonstration on how to apply foundation using either a makeup brush, a beauty sponge, or your hands. So let me know, comment down below which one you're gonna try, which one you do on a daily basis, or what you learned from the video, I would love to know. As always, any questions, want something further explained, please leave it in the comments section or you can DM me over on my Instagram account, which is at Letitia Bishop. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I would really love that. Um, I know I don't upload all that often, but I would like to try to upload more. Um, so maybe if I get a few more subscribers, it might encourage me. Also down below, there'll be a link which you can sign up to my five days of beauty uh, course Course, which is for free I leave that at the end of my videos as well so that is like five days amazing lessons on beauty that make mostly makeup that um, I have designed for you guys and a lot of people have enjoyed that so far so that link will be down below in the in, um, in the description box and that's all for now have a good one and I will see you soon bye